welcome to Deathmark! I don't know why I do this motion like I'm marching in place, because I'm definitely not doing that. Um, it's been a minute since I played. I don't know what we're doing. The instant I step into the hallway, a strange, indescribable feeling hits me, like a solid presence is closing in on me from deep within the darkness. Oh, a rabbit appears out of nowhere. Then it runs down the hallway. I thought that was it, but it stops part way. It turns back as if to see what we're doing. Wait, wait up! I grab Mashita's wrist and chase after it. We chase after the rabbit and arrive at the eastern staircase. Where are you taking me, little rabbit? We chase the rabbit running up the eastern stairs. Partway up, I trip over something. What's this? What is this? Moe's bag is on the staircase. Got Moe's bag. Inside the bag is some random junk along with her school jacket. What's this doing here? But if it's here, that means... Is Moe in the school? Then I remembered that we were chasing the rabbit. Where did it... I'll look around for the creature. Uh-oh. Just then red drops of something fall from above. It's a scarlet rose petal. I slowly raise my eyes up to the ceiling. Oh shit! The instant I see that, I let out a groan. It's heavily weighted with both fear and relief. Moe's up there, hanging from Rose Vines. Is she okay? It's her. He points at her, strangely amused. Why is she naked? But she's not the only one up there. There's a corpse hiding in the vines too. It looks like that guard. I was wondering where he went. Suddenly. The vines snap like the weight is too much, and Moe crashes painfully to the ground. How long has she been up there? Hey! Hang in there! Yeah. I quickly glance over her to make sure she's not hurt, but her mark is obvious. It's swollen, pulsing, and red like a large, dangerous-looking pomegranate. That's weird. <laughs> it looks like it's progressed a lot further than the mark on my wrist. I see, so this is why. Did she get desperate and come to the school to try and do something? So you didn't run away. Is she gonna be okay? In any case, I need to get her some clothes. I take the jacket out of her bag and slide her arm into a sleeve. She's still pretty out of it, but she manages to get the rest on by herself. Huh? Oh, it's you, mister. Why? The mark's progression must be affecting her just like Mashita. I doubt anything I say will make sense to her. And besides, right now... He's here. Da da da. <laughs> Hanahiko is... I know. But what should I do? What am I supposed to do? There's nowhere to hide. I look at Moe and Mashita. Their eyes are unfocused. We'll die here. We'll all die here. I'm the only one who might have a chance of overturning that fate. Oh, that's right. Gaining the key and lifting the grudge is the only way to survive. You'll be required to be callous to make use of the spirit's fear. The way to repel the spirit lies within its grudge. Okay. Mary's words echo in my head. Open my bag and look for everything I picked up throughout the school. Is one of these the key? But it all looks like junk. Garbage is all I have. Hanahiko. When I first saw him in this mirror, he was just a monster. But now I feel like I know why he came to be. I'll just have to face him, believe that I have the final key. Believe. Trust in myself. Alright. Uh... Well, he hates adults, so I'm gonna say Moe. I grab them, shake their shoulders, and yell. Get it together, there's nowhere to hide. We have to go. Come with me. Hanahiko. Moe makes a vague sound, but that's good enough. We're going to release him from his curse. Where are we going to go and do that at? 
Okay, so we went back downstairs, yeah? Are we just running around? Eeeew! What the hell? <laughs> Hanahiko is staring at Moe. Hey, they aren't a grown-up. Fine, only big people die, okay? Ooh. A sound like slithering vines come from Hanahiko's direction. The next thing I know, a small sharp object grazes my face. Ooh, are you okay, bud? Tch, missed. You won't be so lucky next time. I get the feeling Hanahiko's planning to attack me from a distance. I need to do something to reach him from this far away. Facing a spirit. To defeat a spirit, you must use the right item at the right time. Okay, great. Both you and your partner can use one item each. Choose according to the situation. Item usage limit. Some items are limited use, so please take care. Check the number to the right. Also, some items cannot be used when facing a spirit. Combo actions. When facing a spirit, two items can be used together. This is a combo action. If it, it is executed if you and your partner use the right items. Okay. Strategy hint. You can read the spirit file or item descriptions at any time. Open your bag using X. Okay. Stab with knife? Oh. Okay. Well, wasn't there something about, yeah, the plastic sheet and the umbrella? And then... To, like, block his attacks? The I put the... Um the wire umbrella over the plastic sheet. Over it. I ready the cobbled together umbrella. This should be able to block the thorns. What the heck is that? That umbrella is in my way. His cold voice rings out, sounding slightly angry. Hanahiko shoots a rose thorn. The thorns fire as fast as bullets, but only bounce off the bloodstained sheet. Their blood denies him, so that's what it meant. The impact of the thorn causes the sheet to start to fall off the umbrella. If we don't put it back on, we won't be able to protect ourselves. Ooh, gross! Hanahiko sways closer as if the umbrella is irritating him. We might be able to do something if he comes a little closer. Okay. How to weaken spirits. To defeat a spirit, you must use a specific item to weaken them. It can't be used until a spirit is as close as possible. When that happens, the screen outline will glow red. Endure the spirit's attacks until they are in range. Alright, um, so we'll keep doing that. Plastic sheet and wire umbrella. <laughs> Seemed to be the right choice. I put the wire umbrella over the plastic sheet. Aniko shoots a rose thorn. Alright, he's closer. Is it red? Wait, is it red? No, I think it's blue. I think it's still blue. Another one! Alright. Put the wire umbrella over the plastic sheet. He shoots a thorn. Ew! I hate that really grotesque eyeball. Oh, okay, it's red. It's for sure red. Hanahiko comes up close. So we gotta weaken him, right? Countless vines wriggle in his oddly shaped head. They're like poisonous snakes about to strike their prey. Ew. At this distance, the umbrella's pretty useless. It's obvious I'll be killed instantly if I don't do anything. This close distance is my only chance. Should I use an attack against spirits or an attack against plants? Is there a way I can fight back? Hmm. Well, it, hmm. well, it said to weaken him first, right? So, purify it with red, huh? Okay. Uh. Well, I want to use the salt water because that's bad for plants, right? Okay. Ew. 
Yashiki throws salt water at Hanahiko. Does that hurt him? The vines hit with the salt water quickly stop moving. In the hazy darkness, I can see Hanahiko's face twisting in pain. Okay, so that was good. How mean. Are you gonna tease me now too, mister? He starts sniffling as if he's about to cry. Oh, I feel kind of bad. He looks weakened. That's good. How to defeat spirits. Defeat a weakened spirit by using specific items. Choose an item based on the info you've gathered. You only have one chance. Think carefully. <gasps> Took out lipstick. I put the lipstick on Hanahiko's lips. What did you do? Hanahiko is weakened. Mm. <laughs> Can't believe we just reached out and put lipstick on this little ghost. <laughs> I don't know what I thought was going to happen. I don't know. I just know that it triggered him to wear the lipstick. All right. Okay, so he's weakened now. Okay, that's not gonna use anymore. What about the flare, right? He doesn't like the flare, right? Okay, I think that I'm gonna use the flare and the mirror. I think he doesn't like either of those things. And the mirror. Yashiki lights the flare on fire. We light the flare and shove it into Hanako's chest. His body bursts into flames as his face twists in pain. Eventually, he turns to ash, blown away by the wind until nothing remains of him. Okay, it doesn't. I don't sense Hanako anymore. Did we win? Seriously? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Kinda hard to believe, but it looks like we did. Mister! My mark disappeared! Moe cheers as she steadies her leg. Her mark had been burned into her right thigh. Oh, what about yours? Oh yeah, my right hand. It's still there. Okay. Okay. Maybe it's like connected to specific ghosts? The marks, the individual marks. So hers was connected to Hanahiko, and ours is connected to someone else. It's still there. My mark looks exactly the same as before. Why? Why isn't it going away? Sorry, mister. It's almost dawn. Am I going to die? Gee, I hope not. So this is where you've been. My head suddenly stopped feeling fuzzy, and then my mark was gone. Oh, okay, so you got it fixed, too. Looks like you did it. Yeah. But he still has his mark. <laughs> okay. What is that face? <laughs> chill out, dude. Chill out. Let's head back. Maybe Mary knows something. So angry on my behalf. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Come on, mister. Let's go. Moi leads me away. I hope we're gonna be okay. Huh. Moe's digging through her bag. Oh no, my wallet's missing. Maybe I dropped it earlier. Her glance back at the school is confused. But, but you're definitely more important right now. We gotta hurry and get back. Go on. Huh? Just make sure you're back in five minutes. Go, get moving. Right, thanks. Moi rushes back into the school. That's scary. I wouldn't want to go back into the school. You're pretty calm considering. Moi shrinks in the distance until they disappear inside the building. A bitingly cold wind whips past me. It's coming from the school. That's not normal, especially for the start of summer. The wind dies down and out of nowhere I get a really bad feeling. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Should I have let Moe go back inside? Five minutes pass. Moe isn't back yet. Idiot, this is no time to dawdle. We better check. Uh-oh. I step inside and go down the right hallway. I make it all the way in front of the room where we fought Hanahiko, but... 
I don't see Moe anywhere. Strange, this should be the place. Where did she go? Ooh, the mark throbs again. Did I do it wrong? I feel a presence down the hall. Oh, gross. I hear something over by the mirror. I better go check it out. Oh, shit. The mirror is stained scarlet. Binoculars lie in a sea of blood. That looks familiar. Did I do it wrong? Like Moe's. Okay, that's right. I only have vague memories of what happened after that. I think Mashta and I both let out anguished screams and dashed out of there. Next thing I know, I'm back at the car like I'd been trying to escape. Did I do it wrong? Was she supposed to die? Welcome back. My mark's gone, so that must mean you beat Hanahiko, right? You're pretty amazing. Huh? What's wrong? You're not smiling. And what about Miss Moe? Don't tell me you didn't find her. Oh, fucking, that face is so scary. <laughs> no, we found her. But then she died. That one too. <laughs> what are you saying? Tell me exactly what happened. How the hell should I know? And Yashiki's mark hasn't disappeared either. God damn it, it's all but it's all beyond me. Hey Yashiki. I'll fill the pip squeak pip squeak in. You go hear what Mary has to say. Alright. Welcome back, Lord Yashiki. It appears that you overcame your fear and destroyed the spirit. But there was a victim. Yeah, we beat Hanahiko, but... What happened to Moe? Unfortunately, the spirit's festering grudge was not cleared away. That grudge then stole the life of one who killed it, Moe. So the spirit got revenge. Normally grudges killing people would be impossible, but... Then why was only Moe killed? With that kind of logic, I should have been... I can offer a logical reason. The vanquished spirit could only affect those it gave the mark to. In other words, your mark was likely not given by Hanahiko. I see. I'm suddenly lightheaded. The world is fading. I'd risked my life during that investigation, and it was completely useless to me. I guess all that's left is waiting for dawn and my death. Rip. Lord Yashiki. If it's all right with you, would you mind showing me your mark? Sure, dude. I hold my arm out towards Mary. Her neck shifts slightly as she stares at the mark. Was that her squeaking? <laughs> it is as I thought. It's only a minuscule fraction, but the fate I sense from this mark has been distorted. Interesting. What does that mean? Yeah, what does that mean? Is it because I beat Hanahiko? Do we buy ourselves some time? The flame of your life was indeed fading at one point, but it has now become brighter. Are you saying I'm not going to die at dawn? That is correct. My sigh of relief is so deep, it feels like my soul is escaping my body. The mark still burned on me, but it seems like I'll be okay for now. It appears the mark you bear is different from the ones I know of. But there's no doubt that it was given to you by a spirit. Then, there are other spirits like Hanahiko that give people marks? Yes. Man, I feel bad about Moe. Ooh, what the fuck? Spirits born of grudges have an insatiable hatred for the living. This persistent hatred is not sated by simply killing the living. Rather, they drag their victims to depths of despair before their death. That is what they desire. The mark is an effective method. I see. Spirits who wish to terrorize the living. 
The more I hear, the less I understand. It appears something within H City can easily create such spirits. Though I could not say what it is. It's so creepy. So for me to escape my mark, I need to find the spirit that gave me it, that gave it to me and take care of it then? Yes. It is logical to believe the mark will disappear with the spirit, but how do we know we're not gonna die just like Moe? That's the only way to escape death and regain your memories. Poor Moe. It will soon be dawn. I'm sure that you're all tired. Please rest. You're free to use any room. You did great work today. You're much more competent than all the other adults I know. Though it only makes sense for adults to help children. Sorry, buddy. Oh, that's right. It's too bad about Miss Moe, but it's better to not think about it. After all, you still haven't escaped your own mark yet. Think about yourself more than those who are already dead. Well then, good night. Aren't your parents worried about you, little kid? Think I'm heading off myself. Here's hoping sleep helps me forget all the horror we've experienced. All right, here, have this. What's it? He pulls a small paper item from his beat up coat and hands it to me. It looks like a newspaper article. Well, it's up to you how you interpret it. Do whatever you want. See ya. <laughs> Since you're just actually leaving. You're just gonna abandon us to our mark. Lord Yashiki, there's something I must tell only you. About those who lost their marks. They must leave in the morning. Those who escape their fate should return to their daily lives. That is the will of Lady Saya. Oh, okay, I see. So I'll be the only one left behind. I feel like a student repeating a grade. Lord Yashiki, by any chance, are you uneasy about being the solo occupant in this mansion? Um, I kinda am. Is that so? Mary stares unblinkingly at me. I could just be extrapolating it, but it seems like she's thinking about something. Now then, Lord Yashiki, it would be for the best that you take your rest as well. Please find me when you're ready. Farewell. New info was added to the spirit file. Mashita's collection of articles. Other. Um, let's look at those. Is it gonna be in Hanahiko? Yeah, Mashita's collection of articles. 19 something. 1990 something. The principal of H Elementary, Mr. A, reported to local police that his son, H9, was missing. The police organized a huge search, even in the forest by H Castle, but were unable to locate him. Mr. A was famous for helping out at the orphanage, and his missing son was adopted from there. Public information on the missing persons case. The boy's physical characteristics are height, 3 foot 2 inches, small and slender. His short hair has short hair and was wearing a white shirt and navy shorts when he went missing. Often mistaken for a girl, usually seen playing with girls and enjoys wearing makeup. Always carries toy makeup with him in his pouch. Post-incident gossip article. Mr. A, the lost child's father, has resigned from his post as principal of H Elementary and is moving out of H City. A man of importance in the area, he's been plagued with slander that has affected his family. Some rumors claim he's a pedophile or question his sexuality. These horrible accusations ignore his human rights. An article on the boy's background. After the missing boy's mother passed away, he was placed in an orphanage, having no other family. The two were extremely close. A neighbor shares, one day the boy wore his mother's makeup to show his friends, only to be teased and bullied by them. His mother rushed up with her mirror, had him look in it, and told him he was cute. Other articles related to the disappearance. Many people disappeared between when the boy went missing and the school closed. Among them are the boy's homeroom teacher and that woman I saw in the underground room. There's a theory that he may have sought help from adults while he was being abused with no success. After death, his angry despair created Hanahiko, the spirit that attacks adults. I see. That's pretty awful. <laughs> I don't know what I would do if a kid came to me and was like, Hey, can you fucking help me? I'm being abused. I would um, do everything in my power to, like, help that kid. It doesn't matter, like, who that I gotta, like, go up against. <laughs> I think I would- I'd like to think that I'd have the, the will to help the kid, you know? Imagine this all got avoided if just one of those people actually helped him. Chih! Chih! 
Um, what was the other thing? Let's, uh, let's talk to Mary real quick. Are you retiring to bed? Uh, rest. Good night. Oh, okay. Chapter 1, Hanahiko. End. Alright. I, I win. <laughs> I won! Yay! Boy still died, but shit. What am I supposed to do? Another night greets me. It's been three days since the investigation. And not one glimmer of hope for me. Time idles by as death draws ever closer to claim me. I can't believe it's been three days. You haven't done anything? The mark that brings death. The only way to escape it is to defeat the spirit that gave it to me. But I have no clue where that spirit is right now. Maybe things would be different if that specialist Saya Kujo was alive. A knock breaks my train of thought. Hello? Oh, what are you doing back here? How long are you planning on sleeping? You're pretty relaxed for a guy who could die soon. The ex-detective Satoru Mashita. The other mark bearers left the mansion, but he stayed behind. Mary was the cause. I guess she asked him to help as he was leaving. She went against Saya Kujo's wishes by doing that, but it seems it was for my sake. But I don't know about Mashita. Even if he was asked to stay, he has no reason to agree. Maybe he just wants to help you back. We did help him. What's that look? Not happy I stayed behind? <laughs> I'd prefer Tsukasa. <laughs> That's so rude. I'm grateful. Cut that out, it's creepy. Flatter me all you want, but I won't forget you drove without a license. Oh, wow. He's got a bad mouth, as usual. His true intentions aside, I have to say I'm honestly grateful for his help. My amnesia could hit without warning, so I can't go out whenever I want. He's been going around gathering information in my place. That's nice. I saw some people from the force. Still no ruckus over H Elementary. But wait a second. That guard went missing. His company should be notified. The company is exactly the issue. It's run by Yakuza thugs who have their eyes on the labor department. They don't want the police involved. Interesting. Plus, in a shitty company like that, people up and walk out all the time. Yamashita. Yamashita? That was his name. Everyone thinks he's, he up and split. I hear that's why they're having a hard time finding a replacement. If you didn't know the school was haunted, it'd be another abandoned building. The government wouldn't need to rush to find a new guard. That's fair. The man lived alone, so a missing persons report won't be filed soon. The school most likely won't come under suspicion until then. That's it for my report. He covered a lot of ground in a short time. Ex-detectives sure are handy. I'll give him that. Even though he's a snarky little potato. Did you did you bring <laughs> did you bring up the mark or spirits when you were asking around? Do you think I'm an idiot? They'd be calling the loony then. Even if the kid or I did bring them up, who'd honestly believe us? Why waste my breath? Exasperated, he shrugs. That's fair enough, honestly. Uh, searching the mansion was on you, so did you find anything? I came up blank as well, though I've only gone through half so far, and some of the rooms were locked. Stuck without a warrant. Likely you'd wait for some- Oh, like you would wait for something like that. I swallow the words before they come out. Oh yeah, Mary's asking for you. You should get going. I just been a little sleepy head, just sleeping in my bed. Hello? I have been waiting for you. Mary is sitting primly on the couch, the same as always. It appears you are having a difficult time with your investigation. I do wish I could be of more use to you. I mean, you're kind of just a doll. I don't know what else you could do for me, but thank you. I know you can sense mark bearers. Can you sense spirits too? Oh, interesting. If they were to come into the grounds, I believe I could, yes. That doesn't sound particularly useful. Do you have any other abilities or powers? Indeed. I can view the vague shape of the course of a person's fate. Interesting. Like predicting the future? Oh no, nothing quite so extreme. It's more akin to fortune telling. It may or may not come to pass. I see. That's not that helpful, but okay. I get it. 
That's why what you predicted earlier didn't actually happen. Did Mary tell you something? The truth you're seeking can be found here or some such. Like a fool, I fell for it, so convinced. I'm such an idiot. That's the sound of the police. <laughs> a loud knock sounds at the door. A visitor in the dead of night. A mark bearer? Dun dun dun. Hello? I open the door and the visitor strides in. Who is it? <laughs> you look like a punk. It's a shady looking young man in a uniform delinquents these days tend to wear. He smirks at me, clearly feeling superior. What do you want, guy? This place, Kujo Mansion? I got business with some Saya chick. No way you're her, huh? He narrows his eyes, staring suspiciously. <laughs> I'm Saya. <laughs> It is me. I am Saya. Turn to Mashita. Oh no, don't hand this off to me. I'm horrible with kids. They never dared put me in charge of Juvie. <laughs> Rip. So, you guys know her, yeah? Don't care which one of you it is, but would you hear me out? Introductions are quickly done. His name's Sho Nagashima. And as we'd guessed, he's got a mark. He rolls up his right sleeve to show us, and yep, the red mark is burned in. An occult freak friend said something. Like it gives you amnesia? For real? Yeah, that's right. I can't even remember my real name. You're kind of too calm for all that. Bet you're pulling a fast one on me. That grates, but the reaction's normal. But if he's not going to believe the rumors, then he had no reason to come. That would. Why is he here then? Yeah, what do you want, buddy? <laughs> Rumors are just that. Amnesia are dying because of some mark. That's comic book craziness. Every word of it is true. <laughs> wow, what a face. Well, was that a girl's voice? Why are you so pissed about a girl's voice? There's a saying, the truth is stranger than fiction. They are two sides of the same coin. Mary begins explaining. I'm sure she figured it would be the fastest way to convince him. You got some damn speaker set up somewhere, don't you? I don't take kindly to threats. He peers closely at Mary. Such a mechanism does not exist, Lord Show. <laughs> Is he gonna be okay? No, 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 no way! He yelps pathetically, his eyes wide, and suddenly falls flat on his ass. It seems that, despite appearances, this punk is terrified of ghosts and monsters. That's kind of funny. His tough act is likely a cover. After that, he meekly pays full attention to Mary as she speaks. He listens quietly, his face pale as she tells him about the mark and spirits. By the time she finishes explaining, his face is devoid of color. Good job, bud. Now, Lord Show, have you not already experienced the beginnings of memory loss? Yeah. I don't think he's used to Mary yet. His face is rather stiff. My memory's always been crap, so I thought I was imagining things. But then it started getting so bad that it was just ridiculous. I got this occult friend, yeah? Told him about my scar, the mark, and he scared the shit out of me. Showed me an article that said it was all that scar thing's fault. So now I'm here. Moe mentioned seeing an article by Saya Kujo in a magazine, too. It's all because some monster. The hell? This is crazy. Why'd this have to happen to me? Not believing it is normal. But if you don't, you'll die. In fact, one kid already has. If you don't want to kick the bucket, figure out how you got the mark. Even if your memory's gone bad, you should at least remember that. I'm not that far gone, thanks. I'm positive I got it in the forest by H. Castle. I know I did. I mean, it does have a rumor about the place being cursed, so... We should probably ask him some more about it. Forest? The huge forest west of the city. Wait, doesn't everyone know that? Even kids do. But I've lost my memory. <laughs> Duh. Maybe that's why I don't know about it. The place is the city's garbage dump. Bunch of nasty rumors about it. There's an illegal industrial waste dumping there, like, all the time. It's not just objects, either. They say a black car once dumped a young woman's body there. 
A new mother strangled her kid there because she didn't, she couldn't take care of it. That's horrible. There are tons more rumors like that, whether or not any of them are true. I heard some of those too. Like the lost kid who was eaten by a dog and they only found his torso. Gross. Or that a murderer hides out there and kills anyone who gets near. The two of them happily exchange stories. Apparently while he hates ghosts, he's more than fine with this kind of stuff. I've hit up the edge of the forest a few times, but never walked in. No one with half a brain goes there. What should I ask next? Uh, why were you there? It was obviously- I was obviously on my bike, man. <laughs> okay. The place is totally empty at night, so it's perfect for driving around. Riding around free as a bird helps me clear my mind. Before you ask, yes, I have my license and no illegal mods. Huh, <laughs> is that so? We don't need another person flaunting the law. One is enough. I smile wryly. Who would have thought this kid would be on the straight and narrow? Yeah, he, he acts like a punk, but he's just some kid. <laughs> that day I was clearing my head when my bike broke down. I stopped to check it out. Then suddenly I've got this scar. What should I ask next? It's cursed? <laughs> she just stiffens like a board. I hate this, that supernatural crap. Just talking about it freaks me out. What a wimp. Rumors exist for a reason. That place is a famous suicide spot. 50 people die there a year, so they say, and that's just what they find. Once there was a mass suicide, it has its fair share of grisly history. That's trippy. Ugh. I don't have any places like that near me, thankfully. Sho's eyes are wide. He looks like he swallowed a bug. I doubt we'll get any more out of Sho. No info on the spirit, then? You haven't forgotten anything. No keeping secrets now. Quit strong-arming me. Hold your horse as I'm thinking. He's complaining, but I can see he's really combing through his memories. There was something. It wasn't a ghost or nothing, but I did spot something weird. Over by the side of the road, I saw this huge man. A giant? A huge man. It wasn't just some tree's shadow. Honestly, I'm not really sure. The place was pretty dark and I only saw it for a second. It sounds pretty iffy. Is that info really reliable? I don't want to go fight a big man ghost. <laughs> May I interject? In truth, there are a number of supernatural rumors set there. One happens to corroborate Lord, Sh Lord Cho's story. The rumor of Shimio. It sounds like Mary has an idea. Could you tell us more about it? Of course, Lord, Lord Yashiki. I shall tell you the story of Shimio, the man from the forest. Spooky! Chapter 2 Hey, have you heard that rumor? That one about the weird giant man. He's covered in black splotches, so people call him Shimio, the spotted man of the forest. I've heard he asks everyone he meets a question. Oh, what question? Do you like bees? Candy man? A college student who heard the rumor decided to go to the forest to see. And a man covered in splotches really did appear. Do you like bees? I would say yes. The student laughed. Yeah, sure, I like them. And then... Let's raise some then. What? <laughs> in your body. Gruesome. Okay. Shimio asks those he meets a single question, then kills them using his drill. That might be none other than the figure you saw, Lord Shell. However, I have no real proof. Then we'll have to gather evidence. Let's get ourselves to the forest. Investigations require legwork. There is no hesitation in Mashita. After facing Hanahiko, he knows full well what spirits are capable of. Is this his training and experience as a police detective? Maybe he's just curious. Mm -hmm. Hey now, you serious? Going there in the middle of the night? You guys have a 
have totally lost it. You scared? What'd you say? I ain't no scaredy cat. Hey, old man, take me with you instead of him. If that huge guy really is some monster, I'll pound him to dust. He's easy to manipulate. Yeah. <laughs> you settled on a destination. Please head to the forest by H Castle once you're ready. Your first goal is to identify the spirit that bestowed the mark. Best wishes for your investigation. Thank you, Mary. New info is added to spirit file, forest and chimio. All items contained within chapter are removed at the end. If a chapter brings an item, it will be added at the start. Okay. New chapter, soul power. It will return to 1000. Oh, okay, that's good to know. All right, that's about it for me. My voice is getting tired. So we'll leave this for next time. Thank you everybody for coming out and playing with me. I had a ton of fun, I hope you did too. Let me know what you thought about Hanahiko. Uh, if you're excited for this new, um, Shimio character. Uh, <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you think I could have saved Moe? Do, do you think she was destined to die from the start? I feel really bad about it. <laughs> anyway, make sure you stretch, drink some water, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all in the next one, alright? Bye!